Ken's here from the Sheriff's Office and Crime Stoppers. How are you? Riley, I'm doing great. How are you? I have nothing to complain about other than, you know, I'm tired right. of it being wet and cold. <laughs> and it, it doesn't feel like the second day of May. No, more like mid-March, maybe? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I can remember, you know, thinking, oh, for Election Day, this is pretty okay mm -hmm. weather here. This would be great in November. Speaking of election, congratulations to the new mayor, Tom McNamara. Yeah. And the new mayor of Loves Park, Greg Jury. Uh, kudos to... Um, our outgoing mayors, Larry Morrissey of Rockford and also uh, Daryl Lindbergh of Lums Park. Yes, absolutely. Class guys, all of them. Yep. And uh, and uh, it won't be hard to get back into the uh, vernacular of Mayor McNamara, you mm -hmm. know, for those of us right. who've been around for a while. Uh, back in the 1980s. And I, Riley, I remember you saying this, and I think this was an astute assumption. Uh, former mayor, John McNamara, the father of the new mayor, was one of the best at remembering people's names. I've never seen anyone better. Mm -hmm. In my entire life, I never knew anybody that was better at meeting somebody one time and remembering their name because I can meet someone five or six times and not. And it's no disrespect. I never forget yeah. anybody's face, but I have troubles with, with names. And he impressed me. And uh, the, the Mayor McNamara story I have is I had a friend from home come up one time and we mm -hmm. ran into him someplace. I introduced him. Mm hmm Six, seven years later, yeah. I had that same friend with me, and we bumped into him again, and he, he wow. remembered, hey, Jim, Jim, is it? Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, it is. And afterwards, my friend wow. Jim's like, how in the world did he do that? I'm like, well, he's had you follow it. That's a gift. Um, oh, it is. I, and I, in, in that particular field of endeavor, that's a great gift to have. Right. I've always had trouble remembering names, Luther. <laughs> see, see <laughs> is that my name? See, I'm having trouble with my own. <laughs> I just, I believe the world should walk around with name tags on. It would make it a lot easier for me. Mm. That, but then you want to figure out a way to look down at someone's pocket to see their name and still make eye contact without having them notice. Mm. I've never perfected that. It's always been uncomfortable to say when somebody says, hey, Riley, how are you doing? Forgive me, I can't place you. Um, you refresh my memory, what is your name? It's right. just uncomfortable. Or for me, a lot of times it's contextual. Someone will come in here for an interview and sit okay. down and all that, and then I'll bump into them right. out at a, a local store, or a restaurant, whatever else. It, it was like when you were a kid and you saw right. your teacher anywhere than in school. It's almost embarrassing. It's like, like what? Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, 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 that's that's not the context yes. you're supposed to be in. Right. And, I, and I've had that happen several times. Right. But my wife, being as brilliant as she is, will quickly go, "Oh, he's rude. I'm Amy," <laughs> and trying to get the name out of him <laughs> so I can remember it then. Well, uh, Amy's available for rental, by the way, if anybody's <laughs> interested. You brought along a bunch of uh, police-related business. Yes, indeed. Rockford police are investigating a homicide that occurred early Sunday uh, near 8th Street and 3rd Avenue in the Midtown District. Uh, just a tragic story. A 22-year-old uh, 22-year-old man, young man, named um, Anthony Jefferson was shot multiple times pronounced dead a short time later at Swedish American Hospital. Just tragedy all around, Riley. Police um, are asking anyone with information to call them at 779-500-6551 or Crime Stoppers at 815-963-7867. And just reading the follow-up in today's Rockford Register Star, just this young man leaves behind a six-year-old son and a two-month-old son. And the, uh, my, my heart breaks. To Absolutely. See the, these children um, will go through life without a father. And uh, right. it just, it's, it's just heartbreaking. It is. And, and you, you, once again, as you point out, kids really aren't going to have any idea who dad was or, or any of those because they're so young. Mm -hmm. um, terrible situation, no matter how you look at it. So Anthony Jefferson becomes the city's fourth homicide victim of 2017. If you have any information concerning the murder of 22-year-old Anthony Jefferson, uh, call Rockford Police 779-500-6551 or Crime Stoppers 815-963-7867. Uh, this, over the weekend, shortly after 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, Rockford Police responded to a call for an aggravated robbery. It happened at a shopping center at 3134 11th Street. That's on the uh, far southeast side of Rockford. A 54-year-old victim telling officials he was in the alley behind the shopping center when he was approached by a suspect demanding his wallet and threatening him with a weapon he never displayed. The victim handed over his wallet and the suspect fled on foot with two other males. The suspect is described as a black male. 
between 18 and 20 years old with a blue baseball cap and a blue jacket. The other males are only described as black males between 16 and 18 years of age. Uh, Rockford police are looking for a guy wanted on several warrants, Riley. His name is Mikion. It's M-I-K-I-E-O-N, Mikion Taylor Jones, 21 years of age of Rockford. He's wanted on three charges of domestic violence, an aggravated discharge of a firearm charge, unlawful failure to register as a sex offender, and failure to appear contempt of court. A Rockford police spokesperson says the department recognizes the negative effect violence has on the community and is asking the public's help in locating Taylor Jones in order to combat that violence. I know one of the uh, comments that the new mayor made last night, um, and it's just recapping the headlines so we can end a culture of crime. And when you talk to Rockford Police Chief Dan O'Shea, just unfortunately so much of the violent crime is being uh, committed by a, 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 so, a small segment of the community. And if the police get cooperation from the law-abiding citizens, people who know the whereabouts uh, or what these people are up to, uh, they can be arrested and incarcerated and hopefully rehabilitated. But it's just, again, the, the, the number of repeat offenders is staggering. And, and it's this community, it's in, in our best interests to get a handle on this violent crime problem because it affects all of us. And the methods with which to communicate to authorities are there for you. Right. I mean, what's this segment about? Crime stoppers. I mean, you're, you're right there for someone to pick up the phone and anonymously uh, let that information be known. The, the cops won't even ask your name. If you want to call the regular right. police line and go, I'm not comfortable telling you who I am, but here's what I have. Right. They're not going to try to get it out of you. You have ways uh, of helping out. And what it ends up doing is it helps your own neighborhood. And police and Crime Stoppers will protect your anonymity if that is what you desire. We don't have caller ID, as nope. you know, Riley, and uh, we don't ask your name unless you volunteer it uh, to us. Uh, we're looking for the following four individuals. Quarteras Cheers is a 29-year-old black male, 5'11", 165. He's wanted for criminal sexual abuse. 36-year-old Ty, T-Y-E, Bressler, is a white man, 6'3", 200. He's wanted for aggravated DUI. 20-year-old Mikion Taylor-Jones is 5'11", 200 pounds, black male. He's wanted for domestic battery. Finally, 35-year-old Jacqueline Sanchez is a white female. She's 5'3", 130 pounds. She's wanted for driving on a revoked license. If you know the whereabouts of any of those four people, give us a call at Rockford Crime Stoppers, 815-963-7867. Or you can call us toll-free at 888-769-STOP. And we do offer cash rewards of up to $1,000 for information that results in the arrest of a wanted fugitive. RockfordCrimeStoppers.com is another great place to go. You can look at some of the photos that Ken had talked about here as well. One other note as far as uh, cops go, and uh, I'm sure you saw this one as well, uh, Police Union's Facebook post. Claiming cops were treated disrespectfully at a North Carolina barbecue joint. This has gone viral. Uh, the Raleigh Police Protective Association on Friday of last week accused workers at Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue in Garner of singing NWA song, Blank the Police, mm -hmm. to cops as cops were sitting down to have a meal. <clears throat> Post went viral. It's been shared more than 5,000 times. Post sparked comments online calling for a boycott of the restaurant. Quote, thank you, Smithfield Chicken and Barbecue Jones Sausage Location for the class and professionalism as you sang blank the police as my brothers at Raleigh Police Department attempted to eat at your restaurant. The union's Facebook uh, post union and Matthew Cooper wrote on Friday. The manager sang along as well. Oh, boy. You really think that was appropriate? His uh, post prompted the uh, union's post, according to the station. Raleigh News and Observer reported Saturday. Uh, Cooper said in an interview there were a couple of cops who were sung to, although he would not give the exact number. Said the police association spoke with the owner of the restaurant, David Harris, and the police association has accepted his apology. Harris promised on Facebook, quote, a thorough investigation, and I will terminate anyone employed that does not share our respect of all law enforcement. Raleigh Police Department said late Saturday working with the restaurant to resolve the issue. They appreciate the long-term and strong relationship they have and will continue to have with Smithfield's Barbecue. Hmm. What are you doing? 
what are you doing? Because if you don't want to hit the fan in that joint over right. something, who would they be praying would come through that door? And if you ever encounter, you know, an unfortunate situation where you're the victim of a crime and you need somebody to, to investigate, you need somebody to protect you, you know, who are you going to call? Right. And, and pray that they get there quick. Right. Yeah, right there. So just... Uh, Stop uh, being a knucklehead. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, and kudos to the owner. Yeah. If he follows through on his promise that uh, I'm going to can everybody involved in this one and uh, we'll make sure that part of our hiring requirement is do you share respect to law enforcement? If you don't, well, the job isn't for you. Well, that's the way it is around here, too. <laughs> you know, we have enough cops that come through here sure. <clears throat> picking up FMers. 847. <laughs> Ken, good to see you as always. Thanks for the time, Riley.